Hey, what's up? This is TJ from Tally Mark Photos, and I'm coming to you on behalf of Camera Exchange today to talk to you about the 150 to 500 millimeter f5 to 6.7 lens from Tamron. It is heavy. Um, a, a, a stark contrast from uh, Tamron's other lenses that recently came out, uh, some of their uh, lighter lenses that recently released. This is a heavy lens. So it weighs in at 60.8 ounces. So just to kind of give you an idea, uh, once you take that lens hood off and you extend it, uh, it is not an internal zoom, it is uh, external zoom, but even with this zoom, uh, this zoomed all the way out, it is still 1.4 inches shorter than Sony's 200 to 600. So that's, you know, if you have that 200 to 600 or you've held the 200 to 600, you kind of get an idea of how big this lens is. It is a, a rather large lens when fully extended. And not only that, uh, with, with the lens hood on, uh, with that additional with that additional lens hood uh, it is a pretty long lens so another thing about this lens uh, it has this feature here uh, the the zoom lock and you know I'm not too keen on this this um, implementation uh, it's very easy to uh, flip that back and forth a lot of times when I was when I was shooting it um, I would accidentally uh, flip it back and forth so it, it's very easy to to move back and forth I could do that with just one finger and you know if there was a way to lock that into place maybe with a short twist you could like lock it from going back and forth that might work a little bit better but you know this is something that you know I, I understand why they put it on there but it it just doesn't really help much in my opinion uh, these are the dials here on the front so you have your vibration compensation you have your focus limiter um, manual focus auto focus so you have all your important buttons uh, or switches there on the side you have your Arca Swiss, uh, Arca Swiss compatible tripod mount so you don't have to put a plate on the bottom of here. If you have an Arca Swiss compatible mount, you can pop that right in and get shooting, which I really enjoy. I have a lot of Arca Swiss um, mounts, so uh, this allows me to pop it right onto my existing mounts and get shooting. Um, so a little, little bit about this lens. Just to be perfectly honest, I had some issues with uh, the, the lens performing uh, well. I was running into a few issues with the vibration compensation, uh, especially if you're wanting to use this to shoot any sort of video. The vibration compensation is not a very smooth uh, vibration compensation. It, it's it's a little bit all over the place. So uh, that was one of the issues that I had with it. Uh, and at fourteen hundred dollars, this lens is you know a a very capable lens that comes in well under. Uh, the 200 to 600, the 70 to 200. Uh, this is a very uh, well-priced lens for what it can do. So a little bit about the aperture range. Uh, so at 150 millimeters, you're getting an f5. At 250 millimeters, you are getting a 5.6. 400 millimeters, you are getting a 6.3. And from 450 on, uh, to 500 you are getting a 6.7 uh, as the aperture so you know as you zoom out you are going to have to compensate for the loss of light if you're shooting video uh, that is going to matter a lot more than shooting outside um, when I was shooting outside I had plenty of sunlight uh, to not have to worry too much about shooting at 6.7 I was able to drop my shutter speed down I was already shooting 
at a higher shutter speed so I was able to sacrifice some of that shutter speed with for the loss of light so that wasn't really an issue outside inside this lens is gonna be a little bit harder to cope with on the telephoto end if you're shooting 6.7 um, you know say you're in a basketball game and you're wanting to use this lens and you're in a gym that's not doesn't have the best light if you're zoomed all the way out at 6.7 your shutter speed is is gonna dip you're gonna have to dip your shutter speed or go super high on your ISO depending on your camera that might introduce a whole lot of noise into your shot so um, you would have to be really careful shooting with this lens indoors uh, like I said for wildlife and outdoor sports this lens is a performer